Welcome. This recording is related to week 5's lecture of the course Insurance Risk Models. In this recording I am illustrating how to build a PP plot and a QQ plot. Consider the following five observations. Um, these observations, um, for your information, have been simulated from an exponential distribution with the parameter 0.3, but assume you don't know that and uh, these are the five observations that you would like to fit. You assume also that you have chosen to fit an exponential distribution to these five observations. The first step is to estimate the parameter of your exponential distribution. If you work out the MLE, you'll find out that the MLE estimator of beta is n, the number of observations, over the sum of the observations. In our case here, it's 0.492. To build a PP plot and a QQ plot, uh, you need the, to build the following table. Um, the first column here gives you the number of the observation. In the second column you have the ordered observations, so from the lowest to the biggest. In the third um, column you have the probability that we assign the cumulative probability that we assign to that observation, it's i minus 0.5 over n. Um, since n is 5 here, we have 5. We'll, I'll explain in another recording why we use this. Then you need to calculate for that probability, that cumulative probability, the empirical quantile of the exponential distribution. Since um, the probability the cumulative probability for an exponential distribution is 1 minus the exponential of minus beta x. If you reorganize this, you will x is minus the minus 1 over beta of the log of 1 minus p. So you can get the quantile out of the probability or the probability out of the quantile. So what we do here in the in this column is to get the quantile out of the probability. So we plug the empirical probability in our uh, um, uh, theoretical CDF and we get the, the theoretical quantile. And we do that for the five observations. And in the last column um, we do this, so we plug the quantile, uh, we plug the empirical observation and get the theoretical probability for that, that observation. So what you have um, here on the left, this part here is uh, empirical. The empirical uh, data, the quantiles and the probabilities. And on the right you have the, um, um, the, the theoretical um, figures, the quantiles and the probabilities. So in a PP plot, um, what color will I use? So the PP plot will consider this with respect to this. So compare, uh, no that's the QQ plot, sorry. the quantiles, the theoretical quantiles with the, no, the empirical quantiles with the theoretical quantiles. And the PP plot will compare the empirical cumulative probabilities with the theoretical cumulative probabilities. So QQ plot is second column with fourth column and PP plot is third column with fourth column. So let's build these graphs. Usually um, you have on the on the y axis
the empirical values. So we'll have here the empirical values. And on the x axis, the theoretical values. Also, a QQ plot is plotting quantiles against quantiles. So we have a QQ plot, we'll build a QQ plot on the left. So the range of the of the axis is the same is the range of um, it, m it must be uh, big enough in order to have the range of the quantiles. So here it's zero to five. And on the right we'll have the PP plot, and the range is 0 to 1. So let's begin with the QQ plot. So the empirical quantiles we have is 0.4. 1.19, 1.51, and 4.61. And the theoretical one are 0 0.21, 0 0.72, 1.15, 0 0.75, 0 0.45, and 4.68. And um, the points you have in the QQ plot are the, the, the points that have four coordinates, this with this, and the second point is this with this. So it's each time the, um, uh, on the x-axis the theoretical value plotted against the, the data point we had of that rank. So we have one point here, one point here, one point here, then 246, 245, it's arguably on the line, and 461, 468, would be something like that. So these are the five points, just to make things very clear. why it's so slow. Um, this point is has coordinates this and this. This point has coordinate this and this and so on. Now the PP plot. So on the empirical side we have 1 over 10, 3 over 10 and so on, that's relatively easy. So 1 over 10, 3 over 10, 5 over 10, 7 over 10 and 9 over 10. Now the theoretical ones is, are 0 0.18, 0 0.44, 0 0.52, 0.70 and 0.90. Now the resulting points will be this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we could already have said from the table here that the points between theoretical and empirical work very well in the tail here, uh, ex exceptionally well actually, but not very well uh, on the on the left tail. And you can see here you have these discre discrepancies. Um, this point ten here should be point ten, but it's point eighteen with our estimated parameter, and here it should be point three, but we have point forty four. 
here it should be 0.5, it's 0.52, it's already better, here it should be 0.7, uh, it's alright, and here it should be 0.9, it's alright too. So this graph is just a way to uh, do exactly what I've, uh, I've said, but in a graphical way. All the points that are on the, on the line here, um, they, they are completely coherent between theoretical and empirical. And if you have a difference, then the point will be far from, from the line. Now, a comment. Note that um, the points here, from a vertical point of view, they are all equidistant. They all have um, 1 over 5 of this ver vertical distance between them. Whereas here, this distance varies. And it will be very small for uh, the quantiles that are around the mode of the distribution. When, when you are in the tails, um, the, the, these points will be more spaced. So that's why um, the QQ plot will give you more information about the tails, but all the points around the mode will be concentrated around the line here, but the tail on the left and on the right will be spread. Whereas here with the PP plot, um, we standardize things, so the tails, um, the tails will be concentrated, actually, and we spread more in the middle of the distribution. So this is how you build a QQ plot and a PP plot.